Dude, the weirdest thing just happened, so I had to make a fucking vlog just in case I end up dying from fucking carbon monoxide poisoning. I want them to find my Vlad vlogging camera and upload this and let people know. That is my decree. I don't know what the fuck is going on with my tits. It looks really weird in the view. For, there's, it looks like there's like a... I don't know, it's like my tan is rubbing off. Who cares? Just ignore the tits today, if you possibly can. Anyway, so something really weird happened. Uh, we have a little backstory here. We have a really, really, really obnoxious fucking fire alarm in this building. I live in an apartment complex, and randomly it will just go off, and it blares. Like, you can't hear fucking anything. If you were at my last drunk stream, it went off while I was drunk streaming, and it was incredibly fucking annoying. But if you put in headphones and turn up the volume to like a hundred, you know, whatever the fuck, turn it, turn it up all the way, you can't hear it, so it kind of blocks it out, it's really nice. But um, a lot of people will walk outside of the apartment building, and you're supposed to, this is protocol, you're supposed to come outside and go downstairs and uh, wait outside, and then usually you'll see the fire truck coming, and occasionally they do tests, and the tests are like really annoying, they go off every 15 minutes, and it's testing every single apartment building, and then they come to your apartment building and test, and I don't know when that fucking happens, and I also don't know when someone decides to fucking overheat their ramen noodles and have the fucking cops come here, so... It happens a lot and it can be quite obnoxious. It's also happened like in the middle of the night at 2 a.m. and stuff. And today, when I was recording my videos, it went off and it would go off in like 15 minute intervals. And I'm like, oh my god, I have to fucking record these videos. And I'm like so stressed out, right? And I'm like, ah, oh, so I have to wait for it. So I wait 15 minutes and I record a video. And thankfully, it never actually fell in the middle of my video, right? But um, this was like at 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. This was happening like in 15 minute intervals, like once in a while, you know, like every half hour or something. It wasn't as straightforward as every half hour or anything kind of structured, so I was like, whatever, I'll just ignore it. When when the alarm goes off, I'm not like a complete retard. I don't just stay in the apartment building and turn up my music and like ignore everything that's going on around me, like billions of fucking fire fucking flame pillars just coming at my face or whatever and I just ignore it. I don't do that. I actually go out into the hallway, I see everyone leaving, I look back and forth, I smell, I'm like looking for any kind of like smell of smoke, I look outside on the balcony and I check the whole house. If nothing's going on around my apartment building or in my apartment building, I just go back to work usually because it, there was a point when we first moved in where it happened so often it was like all the fucking time. Well, 10.30 p.m. rolls around and I'm working on game release news and trying to get done so I can go play some fucking, uh, so I can go play some Darkest Dungeon on the couch with Jay, right? And I'm like working my ass off and I take my headphones out because I'm in the stage where I'm just like doing the photoshopping in of the like titles of the games and stuff so I don't need to like listen to myself talk in the video anymore. So I have my uh, earphones that are just like blaring some like Lamb of God or something. And I, the song finishes and I realize that the fucking alarm's going off again. And I'm, I'm looking at Jay and Jay's like ignoring it because clearly he's heard it and it's been like a half hour. And so I go back to work and I put my headphones back in and I turn up the music even louder and I'm like okay whatever I'm just gonna fucking deal with this and another half hour rolls by and it's been like over an hour that it's been going off and it stops like for a minute like literally a minute and then goes back on and starts again and it's it's really loud like louder than any fire alarm I've ever heard in my entire life at my parents house at other apartment buildings it's the loudest thing in the world and we apparently have four in here so it's like four times the obnoxious fucking noise but I'm just like whatever hopefully it stops soon it's probably some kind of emergency and Jay's like, someone's knocking on the door. And I'm like, what? Someone's knocking on the door? So I go to the door and I look in the peephole because there's no fucking way at 10.30 at night I'm gonna be opening my goddamn door for like some rando. And I see that all I see is the chest piece with like a GoPro on it and it says security. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I open the door and it's security. It's just this like big huge buff slash fat, can't really tell if he's wearing like a whole like outfit that you would see someone that's a cop wear. Like one of those big, the, you know, like the fucking... Uh, what's it called? Bulletproof vests. It like makes him look bulkier. And he's like this Asian guy and he's like, what's going on here? Are you okay? And I'm like, what? And he's like, oh my god, I thought you were dead. And I'm like, why? And then he, he's like, can I come in? I'm like, sure. And he's like, you're the only alarm that's going off in the whole building. It's just you. And I'm like, it's just me? Like, it's just our apartment? Like, I was so flabbergasted why he's coming to my door and why he's asking me if I'm okay. And so he's like looking around, he doesn't really know what to do, he doesn't see any fire, he's asking me if we're using the heaters, we're not, he's asking me if I'm making some food, we're not, he's asking me like all these questions relating to fire, he's like is there a fire? 
and then he's getting a call. I'm sorry, my fucking uh, thing stopped recording because I hit the button. Uh, he's getting a call from the cops, and the cops are like, what's going on here? And he's like, oh, there's nothing going on. Uh, there's no fire. We don't know. We don't think it's carbon dioxide, but it might be. Or carbon monoxide, I forget which. One of them is, like, good for us. The other is good for plants, and that's how we coexist, you know? But um, I'm thinking, like, at this point, like, I'm thinking about carbon monoxide slash dioxide, whichever it is, and I'm starting to get woozy because I'm a fucking hypochondriac, and if someone tells me that I'm supposed to be woozy, I start getting woozy, and I have a headache right now, and I have no idea if it's because there's actually something in the house that's creating this problem or not, and it's just like going off the whole time he and I are standing here in my living room, and he's like, I see that you have a kid, is he awake? I'm like, what? And then I look around, and my house is full of plushies and toys and like Eevee slippers, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't have a kid, that's my stuff. And he's like, oh, okay, kid at heart, or whatever, and like, you know, I don't know if he thought I was cool or if he thought I was fucking crazy, but I have so many toys. It does. I, I, I stepped back and looked at my life and realized that it does look like I have a fucking kid, but I don't. So, um... Uh, he is just like doesn't know what to do and then all of a sudden this other guy walks up to the door and this guy I've seen around our apartment complex many times Jay has had a bunch of interactions with him He's like the nicest guy I've literally ever like met in my entire life and he doesn't come off as fake nice I'm sure he has that fucking inner deviant inside of him like every man does but he comes off as so like genuinely nice But I've never talked to him Jay always talks to him and every time we see him out walking his dog uh, he's like, hey, Jay, and he says hi to Jay, but he doesn't really say hi to me because we had never really officially met. I'm kind of antisocial. When someone talks to me, unless I have a reason to be talking to them, or when someone talks to Jay, I just kind of, like, stay out of it, and I'm like, okay, human being, stop talking to me. And there was this time where Jay and I were moving, um, we were, like, we saw him at the office working, because he works here, right? And then later we saw him in plain clothes, like, leaving or bringing in groceries, and Jay was like, oh, you live here too? And he had a nice conversation with him, so ever since then, when he sees him walking the dog, which we saw him do earlier today, on the way walking to go get food, uh, he'll always say hi to him and stuff. So, today he walks up to the door while I'm talking to the security guard, and he's like, is everything okay here? And I'm like, did I, like, bother you from your apartment? And he's like, oh no, I was out walking my dog, and I'm like, Okay, and he's like, I don't know, like, do you want me to change all of the fire alarms? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And at that point, it had stopped making noise because we opened the doors. Now imagine, like, not knowing what the fuck is going on, and then a fire alarm stops because you open the doors and allow a bunch of, like, really, really cold air to come in because it's been raining today. And so I'm thinking, oh my god, this is carbon dioxide slash monoxide. We're gonna die. Oh my god. Um... Obviously, I'm not being as dramatic. I don't even like, you know, show signs of me thinking, oh my god, this has got to be carbon D slash M or whatever. But, um, he, so he changed, he starts changing them, and once he changes one, the rest of them go off. And at, during this time, he's talking to me, and he's being really sweet, and he's, you know, remarking on the fact that he used to play League of Legends, and Jay's in the other room, like, completely being antisocial now, just playing League of Legends with headphones and doesn't even recognize what is going on, or that it's the person that we usually see when we're walking around, uh, you know, the apartment complex. And he brings up that, um... He was, he was talking to me, and then he's like, do you stream, do you whatever, because I have, like, my laptop over there for recording, and, you know, clearly I'm editing a video, and Jay's playing League, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a YouTuber, and I also stream, and he's like, oh, it just clicked with me, there was this, like, maintenance guy who plays a lot of games, and he was talking about how it's so cool that there's a YouTuber living here, and I'm like, aww. Second time in one day that I get recognized when I don't fucking get recognized, like, ever, like, nobody knows the, who the fuck I am, they're just like, that's a girl cool. Or maybe people just don't act like they know who I am. Also, say hi to Freddy Fazbear and Toriel from Undertale. This is from Five Nights at Freddy's. I also have, like, tons of plushies in here, but anyway. So, um, he, he fixes all the things, and it hasn't gone off since, but I have had the balcony door over there open, um, the entire time, and Jay has the, uh, the fucking window open. So yeah, I just thought it would tell that random, not that interesting story because I don't ever have anything happen to me, okay? And something happened to me, so I decided to tell it. Also, I need more videos for um, the time that I'm gonna be on downtime for the BBs. So yeah, it was very interesting how people are just showing up at my door being like, are you okay? Did you die? And I'm like, I didn't know it was just us. I thought it was just the fucking thing being obnoxious. And he was like, 
uh, the guy, his name is Chris, not the security guard, the guy who actually works here at the apartment complex. He's like, you know you could have called maintenance? And I'm like, well, I thought it was just like everyone. And he's like, yeah, but it's been like an hour or something like that, he said. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that was probably, probably be a good idea. It just seemed like more hassle than not. And I was trying to get this fucking video done, so whatever. But yeah, so next time I'm probably going to call because, you know, it's not probably... Um, it's probably not a good idea to just let it go on and on and on, you know, and if you don't I didn't even check to see if anyone was outside like, you know, they usually line up outside like I said Or they get in their cars and they drive out because it's like either a drill or someone has actually started a fire in the apartment Um, and it's happening for everyone, but I don't think there was anyone outside ever. It was just, you know, it was weird. It was like people Didn't hear it and I didn't really realize because I wasn't paying attention also um, I don't have a gas stove and I haven't used the heater for quite a while so I can't imagine it being carbon dioxide slash monoxide but like it's really weird that like what they just the fire alarm just got so old that it decided to malfunction in such a serious way and now I'm thinking that the alarm going off off and on during my drunk stream like a few weeks ago I'm thinking that that was the same malfunction or whatever and I didn't die then so you know, I'll just air out the place and hopefully nothing bad happens. But yeah, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy. Have you ever had any crazy fucking weird shit happen like this uh, where your alarm is going crazy and you don't know what the fuck is going on? Have you had any run-ins with carbon monoxide slash dioxide? Also, you can uh, go ahead and correct me in the comments whether or not it's monoxide or dioxide and how annoyed you are that I don't know fucking anything about science. So yeah, or elements or anything like that, or even how our bodies work. I don't know. I know how our bodies reproduce. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's take a fucking picture. All right, I don't even know what I'm gonna name this. Like, what am I gonna name this vlog, you know? Whatever, something interesting happened, dot, dot, dot. And then, you know, that'll be like the biggest clickbait in the world, but everyone else does it, so. <laughs> Bye guys, love you. Titties.